Now I welcome again to the last portion of your screw jacks. The last topic that we have to do from the screw jacks is what's known as the differential screw jack. As far as the differential is concerned, why do we call it as a differential screw jack? First of all, we have already gone through the concept of screw jack. Now what we add to it is a prefix by saying that by, by is a prefix uh, that is differential. Okay, differential we give it as a name because the differential screw jack possesses two screws. So in like screw jack, you had only one screw, but in differential screw jack, there are two screws. So because of difference in the screws, fine. Uh, in fact, the difference in the, uh, the sets of the screws, the difference in the mean diameters, sometimes the difference in the pitch, makes it uh, makes us use the prefix uh, differential okay so we say the differential screw jack possesses two screws one screw is s1 and another screw is s2 so this is a screw set s1 this is screw set s2 okay so as far as s1 is concerned it is threaded on the outside only so s1 is having threads on the outside only okay but as far as s2 is concerned this s2 is threaded inside as well as outside as you can see from from these uh, these projections okay because this s2 carries s1 uh, in itself in, inside it okay so this s1 the motion of s1 is possible inside the s2 because s2 is threaded inside Okay, so we are having threads on S2 from external as well as internal, while as S2 is threaded only on the external side. So we can say that as far as the S1 set is concerned, S1 is having external threads only. S1 is having X1 threads only. And this S2 is having, uh, S2 set is having, external is having external as well as internal threads as well as internal threads okay so it is having both the threads internal as well as external okay the external threads on s2 so please be careful that when we talk about the external threads of s2 the external threads of s2 mesh with the threads of the nut so this is our nut this is quite evident that the external threads of this uh, s2 will be meshing up with the internal threads of the nut okay the internal threads of the gear the internal threads of s2 now look at the internal threads of s2 they mesh up with the external threads of s1 let me clear it again what is happening that the external threads of s2 mesh with the threads of the nut and the external threads of S1 mesh with the internal threads of the nut as well as the internal threads of S2, okay? Uh, the screw S1 does not rotate, but free to move in vertical direction. This is also one of the important feature of this differential screw jack that S1, uh, as far as S1 is concerned, S1 moves up or goes down, but it does not rotate at all, okay? so. S1 does not rotate, but it's free to move in the vertical direction, okay? And this S1 carries the vertical load, fine? So the only motion that is possible in S1 is the, the vertical motion. It does not rotate and it carries the load, fine? Now S2, as far as S2 is concerned, this S2 raises, okay? S2 raises up and S1 goes down, making the net lift of the load as the algebraic sum of the two screws s1 and s2 let let me say it like let p1 is equal pitch of s1 p2 this is written small p2 is equal pitch of s2 l is equal lever arm l is equal lever arm P is equal to effort applied to lift the load. Effort applied to lift 
effort applied to lift the load okay now for one revolution now for one revolution of the lever arm for one revolution of the uh, lever arm how much is the distance moved by the effort effort is the force that we are applying distance moved by the effort is equal to pi l okay so because it will describe a complete circle having circumference equal to pi l okay so upward distance moved so how much will be upward upward distance moved by s2 upward distance moved by s2 will be equal to the pitch of s2 that's equal p2 okay now downward distance because as the uh, s2 moves down s1 goes up and when sorry when uh, okay let me do it like this upward distance moved by s2 is equal to its pitch p2 and downward distance downward distance moved by s1 is equal to its pitch p1 so this is very important as s2 is moving up okay s1 will be moving down okay that's how the differential jack uh, actually uh, works okay so how much is the lift in load therefore how by how much the load is lifted up or down lift will be equal uh, the difference of the distances moved okay therefore we define velocity ratio velocity ratio is defined as the distance moved by the effort that is 2 pi l divided by the distance moved by the load that's equal the difference in their pitch this is what we define as a velocity ratio the mechanical advantage in this case is the mechanical advantage is again w by p fine and uh, efficiency we also define as we had already that is mechanical advantage divided by the velocity ratio okay so the important thing that we talk about in screw jack is it's uh, two sets of screws and as one of the screws that is, is s2 is moving up s1 will be coming down and when s1 comes down s2 goes up so that's how the screw jack works thank you very much